Hi everyone, my name is Ricardo Mello and today I want to talk about one of the most powerful features in MongoDB, the aggregation framework. If you've ever needed to analyze, transform or group your data directly inside the database, the aggregation is the tool for you. But what is exactly an aggregation, what is a pipeline? Well, the idea is pretty simple and we can compare it to something many Java developers already know, strings. Take this example, imagine we have a list of names. With strings, we can map them to lowercase, filter only one, then one starts with the letter A, remove duplicates, and finally count them. And if you notice it, each step, each stage transforms the data and passes to the next one. That is the essence of a pipeline. And MongoDB works in a very similar way. So aggregation is a sequence of stage where each step processes the data and sends the results to the next stage. One stage can filter documents, the next can group them, the another can sort the results or projects, okay? And the cool part is that MongoDB has many different stages you can combine to build exactly the results you need. Let's go through some examples. Let's start with the first stage, the dollar match. It's basically used to filter documents, just like a where clause in SQL. So you only keep the data that matches your condition. For example, imagine we have a transactions collection and we want to filter only the documents where the status is equal to error. When we run this, the result will include only those transactions that match this condition. Another use of stage is dollar count. As the name suggests, it simply counts the number of documents that made it through the pipeline. In our transaction example, we could add a dollar count at the end to see how many documents have the status error and retrieve just these documents. And next we have dollar group. This stage let us group documents by specific field and apply operations like sum, average, or count within each group. For example, in our transactions collection, we could group by the status field and count how many transactions fall into each status. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, feel free to share with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget, you can always connect with the MongoDB community to learn more and get support for your projects. Okay? See you next time. Bye!